On today's show, Debbie Stream has her looking at the game of life with a view to improving it so that she has more happiness. Tara's dream shows how our journeys on the physical plane are unique to each of us, yet we come here as part of a group and have a place in the big picture of that group. Stay tuned to find out how these are encoded in their dreams. Welcome to the Dream Interpretation Podcast. I'm Michael Sheridan. This is another half hour of us eavesdropping on the very personal communication between the spirit world and heroes on their journey, because that's what a dreamer is, a hero on their journey. To get your dream analyzed on my show, go to dream-analysis.com forward slash podcast and fill in the form there or use the email address that's listed there to send your dream to the show. That's it. All right, let's get on with the show. I My first dream is from Debbie. Now, her dream has holes in it because she dreams about people I don't know, uh, or more significantly, I don't know what she thinks of those people that she names in her dream. And I can find out because she submitted the dream as a comment on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so um, you can still learn about dreams and my method by listening to the questions that I pose that I, you know, I want to know the answer to this, Debbie, so I can give you a better analysis of your dream. And so if you're not sending your dreams into the show, you can do the same thing. It's asking yourself the questions that's really important. To understand a dream fully, we need to understand the context uh, in which it fits within the dreamer's life. So um, let's have a look. Here's the dream. I was in class and we had to take a board game and come up with new rules and new strategies of winning. Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory was there. I was paired up with an Hispanic guy I did not recognize from real life. I had him use the happiness board game from the 70s. We both came up with ways to change it. Jude Leak was there too. After we presented it for class, my partner wanted to copyright it as totally his idea. I told him he would have to give me credit too. He balked that most of the ideas were his. I said maybe 60% are yours, but I at least did 40%. You should share the credit. My friends agreed. Then I was going to rent a costume that looked like a normal colorful dress. The drama department was raising money by renting costumes. I remember wearing the dress. I was then on stage with some people, but the curtain was closed. I'd said something and the audience behind the curtain laughed. Because the curtain was closed, I had no idea they were laughing at what I said. Someone told me they were and that there were microphones on stage. And that's the end of the dream. So let's go back and figure out what it means. So f starts off, I was in class. Well, that's about learning about yourself. And that's why we're here. We're here to learn about ourselves. And we had to take a board game and come up with new rules and new strategies for winning. So this is going to be about you changing the process you're currently using for winning at the game of life. So any game, board game, baseball game, football match, they're all about the game of life. And so you're being told, you need new strategies. So in other words, Debbie, what you're doing right now is not working. So don't continue in that vein. Do something better. And it's never going to be, it's never going to be worse. They're never going to say, you know, how much you share right now, share less. It's always going to be more. They want you to do more of something positive. You say Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory was there. Not a show I really watch. I know Sheldon. I know the character, but I wouldn't know much about him. So I looked it up. And Sheldon Cooper is a narcissistic, socially awkward, childish, hurtful, naive, selfish, rude, and irrepressible person. <laughs> well, of course, he's also an actor, uh, at least played by an actor uh, in, the, uh, in reality. So this tells us you're a channel. Uh, so this is part of what you're meant to bring into your life, your channeling ability. But it does mean that you've been influenced by a character like Sheldon. So maybe dad is this way. Maybe dad is narcissistic. You know, I say dad, but sometimes men can show up in dreams to represent mom if she's very, very masculine in her approach to life. But I'm going to stick with dad and you'll know which it is. So dream continues. I was paired up with an Hispanic guy I did not recognize from real life. Hmm. So when you don't recognize a male character in a dream, it means you don't really know your own masculine side. 
and um, you need to do some work on that. Figure it out. I mean, this is the beautiful thing about being here on the earth plane. We learn things about ourselves and they're always good things. We learn, we learn by embracing uh, things that we're afraid of, like our shadow self. So we really embrace that, get to know that and shed light on ourselves and we turn them into positives. So ultimately, there's nothing negative about us. Uh, it's just a perception of something negative. But so here, this dream says, putting a positive spin on it, there's more you can learn about yourself. And that's a good, good thing. You said, I had him use the happiness board game from the 70s. I didn't even know that was such a thing. Again, I looked it up and it says that it is a two to six players game. They move around the board, shedding their hangups and acquiring positive attributes such as love, faith and friendship. Friendship. Well, that fits in with what I just said. And that's such a positive game. Um, it, I'm sure it, it would almost be certainly rejected by people <laughs> because we like to hang on to the bad stuff about ourselves, hang on to our conditioning, hang on to our issues. Um, but I love the idea of the game. It reminds me of a friend of mine. He wrote the Grand Design books and he started a newsletter that was all about positive news that was happening around the world and he couldn't sell it. He thought it would like this this would be a newspaper people would be interested in, but they're not. If you have something positive beside another newspaper that says something terrible has just happened, people will buy the, the lesser one. And that'll tell you where your vibration is or where the general vibration of people on this planet is. It's towards the negative. Now, our goal in our lifetime, since your game is in this dream, is about improving your happiness, is about getting rid of what makes us lean towards the negative and make us lean towards the positive. But I really like that. We both came up with ways to change it. Jude Leak was there too. Like, who's Jude Leak? What do you think about him? I don't know what you think about uh, Sheldon. So it, it's really what your view of him is. And that's, a, that's what's important. And I don't know who Jude Leak is. I see that he's a director. And if he's a director, that will always prompt me to channel and ask, is the person who sent this dream in at least a guide have they already finished with the earth plane um because directors like are right at the top they could they control what people are doing on a set there and if you look at a movie in a dream or in the set as being symbolic of people on the stage of life and be told hey do this you're going to learn about yourself by doing this taking on this role taking on this challenge doing these things well the director orchestrates that and that's what guides do in our lives guides from the spirit plane before we come here they plan our life they tell us like here's what you're going to do you're going to step onto the stage of earth and you're going to play this role as a woman as a whatever etc fill in all the blanks and you're going to learn about yourself and these other characters are going to interact with you and that's all going to help you're going to help them they're going to help you etc so when i see a director in a dream it always prompts me and so in your case you are finished with the earth plane so you are a guide and you're here to help, which is really cool. But again, what do you think of Jude Leak? If you don't like him, uh, and he's a little bit obscure, I'm thinking. Um, although when I did look up some of the things he did, the word soul showed up. So that really fits in with what I just said. He's, you go after helping people reconnect with their soul. So anyway, after we presented it for my class, my partner wanted to copyright it as totally his idea. I told him he would have to give me credit too. He balked that most of the ideas were his. I said, maybe 60% are yours, but I at least did 40. So, and then you say, you should share the credit. My friends agreed. So this is about feeling like relationships are unfair. And I say relationships because you say partner, you know, my partner. Um, and you're saying that, it, because of the way it's symbolically coded here that you don't get credit for the work you put in into a relationship and because you don't recognize the guy in, in real life it's not about a specific relationship but rather going to be more about your view of them your takeaway from relationships and realize of course that your takeaway does not have to match reality for instance you could be in a great relationship but still have this view and that most likely goes back to dad being the way this character is in the dream or somebody that you've encountered that was significant in your life being that way. It's almost always dad. So I'm going to say dad as we continue on. And because of dad's behavior, you don't give yourself enough credit 
And I say that because of the figure you argue, argue for is 40%. And four is about limitation. So it shows you are willing to put up with limitation in a relationship. Now, that's something you just want to drop. Um, you should never be willing and go in and say, okay, it's not going to be great. So I'm just going to aim, I'm going to aim low. Um, we don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, all the references to sharing, they're all about the heart, uh, about being open and uh, sharing yourself, how you feel, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So then the dream continues. I was going to rent a costume that looked like a normal colorful dress. The drama department was raising money by renting costumes. I remember wearing the dress. So this is like saying, I pay a price when I express my feminine side because dresses are about feminine side. We all have masculine and feminine. Um, feminine side is about being nurturing, caring, loving. Um, you know, even spiritual leadership, because you're a guide, so you have spiritual leadership for sure, uh, works through feminine energy where you have an open and compassionate heart. Uh, you allow people to be as they are and you help them as they are. So <clears throat> you pay a price because you have to pay money to rent this dress. It's not your normal thing. Um, if, it, you, if it is a normal colorful dress, why would you have to rent it? Like surely you would have that, wouldn't you have one? So you then say, I was on, I was then on stage with some people, but the curtain was closed. So we don't like the curtain being closed. Uh, that's like I said about the dream is mostly about being open and sharing. And this curtain being closed is the opposite. So you're on the stage, but you're still not putting yourself out there. I said something and, and the audience behind the curtain laughed because the curtain was closed. I had no idea they were laughing at what I said or at me. Someone told me they were and that there were microphones on stage. So microphones are another symbol of being a guide. They don't show up that much in dreams. It's like you have a powerful voice. Uh, if you speak into a microphone. But here we have people uh, laughed at you. So did that happen to you in reality? Um, because if it did, then it's really significant. And that's what causes you to hold back. You like privacy, or more to the point, you like to be able to express yourself without negative consequences. And that's a catch-22 here, because you also want your expression to mean something. And we know that because you want the drama department uh, to benefit from you wearing their dress. But be careful that your expression is not just an act. Be sure it is the real you. And then the last question I would ask is, how did you feel I'm waking from this dream? Because that's super important. Because uh, two negatives happened in the dream. But I really like the dream. I think it's a super positive dream. Uh, it shows you being at a good state stage because you're not going to be asked to, uh, let's change the rules. Like, let's move into a new way of living unless you're ready for that. So that means you've finished your own phase of life and are ready, your higher self, because that's who sends you the dream, has deemed that you're ready now to live life in a different way. And it's going to be a much more positive way. So there we go. I love the dream. Thanks for sending it in. And um, I will put a comment under it on YouTube to say, hey, it's in this show. I love this next dream from Tara. It's about how we come here in groups, but have individual paths. Our journeys on the physical plane are unique to each of us, yet we came here as part of a group and all have a place in the big picture. Now, I don't mean everybody on the earth plane is in one group. There are multiple groups around the earth plane, but the groups are large. And we tend to reincarnate within these groups uh, and stick with them over and over and over and over because we have um, learned to trust people in these groups or to have issues with some of them because of past lives. And that, let's say, default feeling about a person is used by our guides in the planning stages of our lives. Anyway, let's have a look at the dream. She calls it unpleasant interactions. She says, I have several friends staying the night at my house, but I'm a little unprepared with mattresses and bedding Ali tells me she's cold, that the blanket that she used the previous night didn't cover her fully. I'm with a guy who I'm sort of starting to date and we're going shopping for blankets. Two of the people who spend the night needed blankets, but in my mind, it's actually mattresses, not a blanket, or maybe a mattress cover that I'm looking for. We're on a rooftop of a parking garage and there are stores below us. We will take an escalator down to each store. I'm trying to figure out where to go. There are people around and I see a guy 
who was the speaker at an event I attended last month. He's holding up a sign looking for donations for some social cause. I decided to introduce the guy I'm with, but when I approach the social justice guy, he is strange and reluctant to acknowledge me. I tried to make the introduction, but I can't remember the name of the guy I'm dating. So I say, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. We move on and it occurs to me that the perfect place to go is TJ Maxx to get the mattress covers. We go down in a very crowded elevator. There are lots of teenage kids dressed up. They're all going to a group photo shoot of their entire class. In the elevator, there's a pair of twin girls dressed identically. They remind me of a friend's girls with dark black hair. And she has the brackets twins who were so shy as teenagers, they wouldn't answer you when you spoke to them. They're wearing dressy black pants and a small floral print blouse. One of them is talking about someone who's part of the yearbook team. In the distance, looking down through the elevator, I see the setup where they are getting their photos taken in a huge open area, I think indoors, but in a massive space. There is the outline of a Christmas tree filled with bleachers that the kids will stand on for the photo. And that's the dream. Now, I probably should have broken that up because it's a little bit longer than I expected it to be. Um, but here we go. So there is more than one theme in this dream. And I'll point out both. Uh, some time ago on the show, I did a dream with lots and lots of themes. Um, they're always in dreams. There's always more than one theme. I usually stick with one and then pull in some of the others that are relevant. But here they seem a little bit different. So I'm going to point them out. So starting at the top of the dream, I have several friends staying the night at my house, but I'm a little unprepared with mattresses and bedding. Uh, and we know that she talks about a guy she's dating. So that's one part of the dream is going to be about her dating, her being on the dating scene. Uh, and then another part of it is about our spiritual side and the mattresses fit in for both of these. Because mattresses, especially when they're not in a normal bedroom, are about our spiritual side because when we sleep, we leave our bodies and go to the astral plane, well, frequently do. And we're very aware of the spirit world then. So the, the time when we're most aware of the spirit world is, is during sleep. So um, two, two themes, and I'll point out both theme. And she says she's unprepared. So the unprepared means that she's not really prepared uh, when it comes to relationships. There's something she's got to do to fix where she's at. But it's also showing her what life is about. This dream shows her as part of like, well, this is going to help you fix this issue when you understand uh, essentially that we're all at different levels. That's really the punchline at the end of this dream. So see if you can see it before I say it to you. But I've already read it out. Um, so she says, Ali tells me she's cold that the blanket that she used the previous night didn't cover her fully. So blankets are about protection. We don't like them in dreams, even if it's a cold house in a dream. The fact that it's cold is also a problem. Uh, that's something you need to do. So you're trying to protect yourself when you shouldn't be trying to protect yourself. I am with a guy who I'm sort of starting to date and we're going shopping for blankets. Ah, no way, no way, don't do that. So um, you definitely don't want to look for ways to protect yourself when you meet a new potential partner. Two of the people who spend the night needed blankets. Again, twos show up in dreams. I always say it's channeling. This dreamer knows she's a channel, but it's also a number for relationships because there's a couple in a relationship. You say, but in my mind, it's actually mattresses, not a blanket. Well, that's much better. Or maybe mattress covers that I'm looking for. Mattress covers aren't great. We don't want you having a mattress cover either. That's like, I want something to get in between me and the perfect relationship or in between me and my soul. If we look at the, the mattress being about your spiritual side. You say we're on a rooftop of a parking garage and there are stores below us. So this rooftop is going to be about you in the spirit world. We will take an escalator down to each store. And that's about coming to the earth plane. Moving from spirit world or high location uh, down uh, it's usually an elevator in a dream, but escalator is fine. Even walking down the stairs is about moving from the spirit world to the physical. I'm trying to figure out where to go. There are people around and I see a guy who was, was the speaker at an event I attended last month. He's holding up a sign looking for donations for some social cause. So he's a guide in the dream because he's a speaker and he's looking for donations. He wants people to give him money. You're everybody in the dream. So he wants you to give him money. He wants you to invest in your uh, masculine side in order to improve your 
ability in social uh, situations because you said it's for some social cause. We also know he's a guide because he's holding a sign. Guides give you signs all the time. I decided to introduce the guy I'm with, but when I approach the social justice guy, he is strange and reluctant to acknowledge me. So this is the issue you've got to fix. Dad not acknowledging you for who you are. Doesn't matter. He may have acknowledged you if you did certain things. And all that does is train you uh, to be kind of like a performing monkey. If I do this, that dad likes, I will get acknowledgement. If I'm intellectual, because you're on the rooftop uh, in this dream. So if I'm intellectual, dad will give me recognition. But if I'm just me, dad won't recognize me at all. And so you need to work on the fact that you didn't get acknowledgement from dad for you being the way you are. And that's super important because when you're in a relationship, you don't want to change who you are. You want to be yourself. You want to be able to be yourself. And we learn that uh, trick the, to be ourselves, to be comfortable being ourselves around men when dad allows us to be ourselves. Uh, so the issue you're hitting, this dream is saying, is dad not acknowledging you for who you are. And so when you are in a relationship or, or selecting from uh, the choice in the world of partners that could be there for you, you're not going to feel acknowledged. But it's not them, it's dad. Fix that and then you'll find a person who does acknowledge you. You say, I tried to make the introduction, but I can't remember the name of the guy I'm dating. Okay, so this again is, I don't really know my masculine side. I, you're everybody in the dream. This guy represents your masculine side and you don't know his name. It also means you also don't know who your partner is yet, but both work. So I say, I'll let you guys introduce yourself. So you're very suave in your own dream. Uh, cool way you do that. We move on and it occurs to me that the perfect place to go is TJ Maxx to get the mattress covers. Uh, I don't know a lot about TJ Maxx, um, but I, I do know it's a department store and it has lots of options in various different areas. So it's a good place to go then in a dream, uh, especially with the name Max in it. Uh, so it's about improving. Don't like that you're getting covers, but um, it's a good store. We go down in a very crowded elevator. Okay, so there we go, the elevator. This is about birth. There are lots of teenage kids dressed up. They're all going to a group photo shoot of their entire class. So if you think about it, when you're in school and you go all the way through the years, when you get to the teenage years, like you see the differences in people. You see people changing and, and discovering who they are and dressing up particular ways, ways that they wouldn't have done it as a six-year-old or seven-year-old. Uh, especially if you've been in the same school all the way along. And so this dream is pointing out that, that everybody's coming down the elevator, coming from the spirit world, but everybody's different. Um, and we'll, we'll see later on what they do with that. Everybody's different, but you come down in a group, even though everybody's different. In the ele elevator, there is a pair of twins. We have the pair again, you and a partner, are, you and your partner are a pair, but it's also about channeling here. Twin girls dressed identically. They remind me of a friend's girls with dark black hair. Uh, the twins who are so shy as teenagers, they wouldn't answer you when you spoke to them. So this, um, is this how you are or were? Uh, were you so shy that you wouldn't talk to people or you would never tell people how you really felt? Again, something you need to overcome because in a relationship, you it's all about sharing and you have to share you can't get into a relationship with somebody and say i'm only going to tell them this i'm only going to share this and then when i get to know them better i'll share more you don't you continue as you start and then you get annoyed when you want to change and you can't change because you've kind of locked yourself into a place or if you change significantly and start sharing things that you held back in the past he's like well who is this person I didn't know you were into that, et cetera, et cetera. So you want to start with the way um, you intend to continue being open. Don't give everything away on the first date, of course. Um, you know, it's all about timing and social uh, interaction, which is really what this is saying, like learning about yourself, enjoying uh, the flirting, enjoying the experience of sharing. They were dress wearing dressy black pants on a small floral print blouse. Okay, so that's about fears with the black pants, um, fears of emotional expression, because the floral print is, you say it's small, 
and that brings back to childhood so it's in childhood you didn't express yourself very well you're a bit like the the twins that you're talking about here and so you need to fix that one of them is talking about someone who's part of the yearbook team in the distance looking down through the elevator and you say it's a glass one i see the setup where they're getting their photos taken so glass elevator tells us that you have a strong intuition and you should listen to that let your intuition tell you so you get information about things uh, out of nowhere you already know this but you see the setup where they're going to get their photos taken it's a huge open area it's indoors but it's a massive space a bit like max in the name tga max so this is says look there's there is enormous room for you to grow um in a relationship and on the earth plane spiritually and so on like really you're talking about describing a space here that has so little limitation i really like it you say there's the outline of a christmas tree christmas trees are going to be about birth because christmas is about the birth of jesus so um fits in there a christmas tree filled with bleachers that the kids will stand on for the photo and so this is the group part you came here with a group of people and they're all going to stand on the bleachers for the photo and this is the part that shows us that everybody everybody in the group is at a different level so you're at one level which is really high we can see because of the massive space and the growth that you're being shown in in your dream um but everybody is at a different level and we're meant to interact uh, at different levels uh there was a part of the dream i feel like i skipped it earlier but you say there was stores that you go down to and when i was talking to the dreamer she said each one had its own escalator down each store had its own escalator down so it's all about the multiple times that we come here we come here to get something one time around then we come back up to the spirit world and then we go down again uh, to another store so stores are about supplying our needs and so when we need something we come again and we come again and come again and here now obviously you're here to work with a very large group of people who are all at different levels uh, and that's okay so we often see in dreams they say specifically this is what you're meant to work on and you were to work with people in this niche but you're to work with people in lots and lots of levels um, and that's really cool and that's what your dream means but i love how it also shows us uh, the way the spirit world designs our lives and that we do come here as part of a group because indeed we do all right that's my show for this week i do hope you enjoyed it remember we do have our unlock the wisdom of your higher self event in october from the 7th to the 9th uh, please go to dream-analysis.com forward slash free if you want to get a ticket for that there is a deposit but it is refunded as soon as you show up at the event that's it See you next week.